guys, Brie here from The Urban Umbrella and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys the new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 lipsticks. I recently received these in PR and I was really excited about them and I wanted to swatch them and try them on. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Even though I did receive these in PR, there was no obligation to post or anything. They just kind of sent them my way and I got excited and I was like, I want to try these and swatch these. <laughs> So let's get into talking about the lipsticks a little bit more. So these 11 lipsticks are inspired by 11 icons and I thought that was really, really cool. I loved the idea of it. Um, in addition, this is in support of a charity, uh, which I wanna talk about a little bit more right now. So I'm gonna just hop on to the Charlotte Tilbury website and read a little bit more on these lipsticks. Okay, so here's what it says. Discover Charlotte's new Hot Lips 2 collection, 11 nuanced lipstick shades inspired by 11 incredible icons, rule breakers, record makers, and history shakers. These universally flattering colors come in five magical, collectible, and refillable cases inspired by Charlotte's universe of fashion, Hollywood, rock and roll, and magic. You can mix and match your favorite design with any Hot Lips 2 refill shade exclusively on charlottetilbury.com and Charlotte standalone stores. This is the ultimate empowering collaboration with Women for Women International to inspire lipstick confidence and change lives with a truly magical one million pound pledge of Hot Lips sales to the incredible charity. Okay, so that's a little bit more on the lipsticks. I think it's wonderful that Charlotte Tilbury has pledged so much money to support this charity. I think it's incredible. Uh, I'm all for it. And now without further ado, let's jump into uh, to some swatches. Okay, so first up is this clear lip balm. And this one is called Enigmatic Edward. It's described as a comforting, hydrating lipstick conditioner in homage to Edward in a full. Okay, so here's Enigmatic Edward. Um, this is just like a really nice lip balm. It feels very comforting on the lips. It's very hydrating. It feels really smooth. It's lovely. It is expensive though. All of these lipsticks retail for $43 each. So for a lip balm, that's a little steep, but it is very comforting. It feels very, very nice on the lips. And if you're someone who doesn't mind spending a little bit more on a lip balm, then you might really enjoy this but if not then maybe you want to skip this one next up is dance floor princess this is for Kylie Minogue this is supposed to be a really pretty pop of pink it's supposed to flatter every skin tone and, and pair perfectly with like a smoky eye okay and here is dance floor princess so this is a really beautiful pink shade I almost feel like it's a little bit of an MLBB lip like a my lips but better lipstick it looks very natural on me in fact when I was putting it on I was like is it, is it showing up or is that my lip color? Um, so I feel like this is one that I would wear like all the time because this one is so similar to my actual lip color. I feel like it's a very easy one for me to wear. I really like how it looks. Um, in addition, I should mention that this is in her kissing formula. So it's a little bit more hydrating, moisturizing. It has a little bit more slip to it, which makes it extremely comfortable to wear. It literally feels like a bomb on your lips and I, I really love this. Okay, so next up is Karina Star and this is made for Karina Lab. It's supposed to be a peachy soft coral. This one is in the matte revolution formula So it's gonna have a little bit more of like that velvety matte finish to it. Okay, and here is Karina star So this is just such a beautiful rich coral color It's almost coming up a little bit more of like a reddishy coral on camera I feel like this is pulling a little bit more peachy um, coral, which is what it should look like in person though a little bit more red I don't know what that is. Maybe it's our lighting in here um, I love this. I think this is so pretty for summer. It is just such a like fresh pop of color. In addition, I love this formula. I have a few other lipsticks um, from Charlotte Tilbury in the Matte Revolution formula and they're just so comfortable. They're like velvety smooth and they just they're just lovely. I also just want to say, I don't think I've mentioned it with the other two. Um, I love this packaging. I think the packaging on all of these is truly just so beautiful. It's very luxurious looking. I love it. Okay, so next up is Glowing Gin, and Glowing Gin is for Jennifer Aniston, and I gotta say, I think that the leopard print packaging is my favorite. It's described as a tawny, beachy rose, and again, this is in the kissing formula, so it's gonna have a little bit more of like a shine to it. It's gonna be a little bit more moisturizing and balm-like. Okay, and here is Glowing Gin. Okay, so I have to say, like again, I just, I love this formula. The kissing formula is just like so hydrating and comfortable on your lips. I have really dry lips, so for me, something that's a little bit more forgiving and gives a little bit more of that like moisture back into your lips is like, yes, I love it. As for this color, I think this color is so beautiful. I do really like these kind of like tawny, rosy colors, especially during the fall. I can see myself wearing this a lot during the fall season, actually. And especially because it's in this formula, 
I can see myself wearing it a lot during the fall and winter because my lips do get so dry then and I do need more forgiving formulas. Okay, so next up is In Love with Olivia and this is for Olivia Palmero. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. I'm, I'm so terrible with just pronunciation. <laughs> So this one is described as a super flattering, sumptuous pink, um, which sounds beautiful. This lipstick again is in the kissing formula. We might have a new favorite here, you guys. I love this. To me, this is more of like almost a pinky peach. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so I think this one might be my current favorite. I really love these sorts of like peachy pinks. I feel like they're super flattering. They're just really kind of like beautiful everyday wear lipsticks. Again, I love the packaging on this one. It's like more of that zebra print, but this shade, this shade is everything. Okay, next up is JK Magic, and this one is for JK Rowling. And this one is described as a peachy nude rose, which sounds like it's totally up my alley. Also, I should mention this packaging is so cute. Um, it's the same packaging that they also had for the Karina's Star lipstick as well, but this is just so fitting for, you know, Harry Potter. It's all magical looking. I love it. So right off the bat, I just want to say that this one looks like perfection. I cannot wait to try this one on because I have a feeling that this is going to be my favorite. Okay, ding, ding, ding. We definitely have a winner here. I love this. This to me, again, is just like a perfect everyday wear lipstick. I should mention again that this one is in the kissing formula, so it's very, very moisturizing. This is such a beautiful nude color. I I love it. Okay, so next up is Red Hot Susan, and this one is for Susan Sarandon. So this one is described as a wearable, accessible, tawny orange, and the formula, again, is the Matte Revolution. And again, with the leopard packaging, you know I love it. Okay, and here's Red Hot Susan. So I gotta say, I love this. I don't often wear red lipsticks because I find that they don't always really flatter my skin tone, but I feel like this one's really working on me. Maybe it is because it has a little bit more of like that orange undertone to it, but it is really really, really nice. I also feel like it doesn't make my teeth look yellow, <laughs> which is a win. In addition, I have to say, I really love that it's in the Matte Revolution formula because it makes it so creamy, luxurious, and super opaque on your lips. And also it feels like velvety smooth. I know I've talked a lot about how the kissing formula is very forgiving to dry lips, but so is the matte formula because it's so creamy and rich. I don't know what Charlotte did to make these formulas, but I gotta say they are so good. They are so comfortable. Um, and this color, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. Next up is Amazing Amal, and this is for Amal Clooney. And this one is described as an elegant, soft, berry pink. And again, this one is in the Matte Revolution formula. So I am really excited to try this one out because I don't have a lot of berry toned lipsticks, and yet I feel like they're a total essential during the fall. I think they look so beautiful on other people, and yet I haven't really found one that I totally love on me yet. Excited about this. Holy sheep dip, I love this. This is one of my favorites for sure. So for years I've wanted to find like my perfect berry tone lip and usually I find that they're almost like too magenta-y pinky on me, but this is like perfect. And again, I'm loving it in this formula because it is just like so creamy and rich and opaque. It looks like velvety smooth on your lips. Love it. Okay, so next up is Patsy Red, and this is for Charlotte Tilbury's mother. And this one is in, again, the Matte Revolution formula. It is described as an iconic red lip statement. Okay, so I'm sorry for the application of this one. I tried my best, but my lips are starting to look a little crazy. But here's Patsy Red. Um, I think this color is beautiful. It almost has kind of like a raspberry sort of kind of undertone to it in person. I don't know if it's picking up on film, but it's really quite a flattering, beautiful red. Again, I feel like this one is flattering on the teeth. Like it doesn't make them look yellow. And in fact, I feel like it's making my teeth look a little whiter. So I'm like, yay. <laughs> Again, the formula is very comfortable. It's super open opaque, it's very rich looking, and this red is just really beautiful and wearable. I do feel like it's pretty for summer because it does have like that really beautiful raspberry undertone to it, but I think this will be beautiful in the fall and winter as well. Like it's just one of those like really stunning lip colors that can kind of transition through the seasons really nicely. Okay, so next up is Angel Alessandra, and this one is for Alessandra Ambrosio, and this one is described as a perfect peachy nude, and this one is in the kissing formula. All right, so here is Angel Alessandra. Again, this is really, really pretty. I feel like this one is very peachy, which I really like. It feels very fresh and light, really pretty for summer. Yeah, I really like this. I, I actually really like it with my makeup look today. 
I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot. Okay, and last but certainly not least is Viva La Vergara, and this is supposed to be a soft wine shade. And again, this is in the Matte Revolution formula. And this one was made for Sofia Vergara. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, and here is Viva La Vergara. I have to say, I like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. I don't typically look great in like deeper, vampier colors, but this isn't that dark and like vampy on me. It's wine toned for sure, but I don't feel like it looks, um, I don't know, harsh on my skin tone or something. It still suits my skin tone, which really surprises me. I think this will be so beautiful in the fall and the winter months. And also again, because this is the matte revolution formula, it just looks so velvety smooth and like beautiful. I don't know. I love it. I love this. All right, guys, we've made it through all 11 shades. Yes, we did it. I have to say, I I really, I really loved all of the shades so much. If I had to choose a favorite, I think it would probably be the JK Rowling, uh, JK Magic shade. I also really loved the In Love with Olivia and the Dance Floor Princess shades, but those are ones that I would wear kind of like every single day. But I also am so surprised that I loved like the deeper, richer shades that I feel like I'll wear more often in the fall, like, I thought they were so pretty. Um, they might not be like everyday wear for me, like this one I might not wear every single day, but I do just think it's a really beautiful shade. And I have to say, I think on like richer skin tones, this color would look so beautiful. This one, the uh, berry toned one, um, which was amazing, Amal, the Jennifer Aniston one, um, Glowing Jen. I think those colors are like very universal, but I think, I think if you have a richer skin tone, like, those would be so stunning on you. Also really loved the formulas of these lipsticks. The Matte Revolution is, you know, a cult favorite, but I also am a huge fan of the kissing formula. It was just very comfortable, very easy to wear, and I can see myself honestly reaching for that kind of formula every single day, just because it almost feels like a bomb. So before we finish up, some things I really quickly wanted to mention is you can buy individually these lipsticks for $43. You can also get them with the matching uh, lip pencil for $63. In addition, you can get lipstick refills for $29. Um, so if you have a favorite and you go through it like really quickly, no problem. You can refill it and just pop it into your old packaging, which I really like. I like the idea of reusable packaging a lot. And if you want to get this full set, you can online on charlottetilbury.com, but it will cost you a pretty penny. It will cost you $473. All right, and that's all. If you guys have a favorite lipstick, please be sure to let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below. If you're getting one, let me know which one you're getting. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.